Next, we're going to do is we're going to find the union between the two sets. Now, if you look at the symbol to represent intersection, intersection, it looks kind of like this. And the way I remember intersection is the, the first syllable in intersection is in, and then this kind of looks like an N without its little stick right there. Okay, so that's what an intersection looks like. And now we're going to talk about union. Well, the symbol for union kind of looks like a U. So, kind of easy to remember. And union is basically when you put those things together, what is all encompassing. So, for instance, I'm going to get married. So, right now I have a car and my uh, fiance has a car. So, when somebody asks us, hey, when you guys get married, will you have a car? That answer will be yes. Well, another example is, you know, hey, I've got a house. My fiance does not have a house. So, when we get married, the question is, will we have a house? Well, the answer is yes. Okay, so w when we're looking for the union, it's basically when we put things together, uh, you know, we're going to combine the two sets together. And when we're looking at this, what we're going to do is we're actually, if something repeats, we don't write it twice. You know, just because we both have a car when we get married, when somebody asks, will you guys have a car, you'll say, yes, we will. That's the answer to the question. In fact, we'll have two. So when we combine these sets, uh, it's all of these elements plus all of these elements, but then don't repeat. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 will be the union of those two sets. So when you put them together, those are all the numbers that are encompassed by that union.